Cristiano Ronaldo's girlfriend Georgina Rodriguez shows off her figure in a cream skin-tight maxi dress as she becomes the new face of luxury travel accessory brand Lily and Bean Dear Friends. Welcome to my channel, I am Maya. Hope your day is so well. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Cristiano Ronaldo's girlfriend Georgina Rodriguez showed off her incredible figure in a skin-tight cream maxi dress as she is revealed as the new face of a luggage brand. The influencer, 30, looked sensational in the figure-hugging Bardock gown as she displayed a suitcase from luxury travel accessory company Lely and Bean. For the campaign, Georgina posed against a backdrop of Cristiano's personal collection of supercars in Saudi Arabia, a Ferrari, Mercedes, and Porsche, with a combined worth of $1 million. In a picture exclusively obtained by Mail Online, Georgina paired the off-the-shoulder dress with a long cream coat to match and slicked her dark locks back into an updo. She accessorized the look with a huge ruby pendant necklace with a matching ring and set of earrings. The large suitcase Georgina displayed for the campaign was gray with pink and white stripes down the middle and finished with her initials engraved on it. It comes after Cristiano and Georgina looked every inch the loved-up couple as they enjoyed a lavish family holiday in Saudi Arabia last month. The influencer gave her 58.1 million Instagram followers an insight into their luxurious break as they explored the Red Sea. The Argentine-born model cozied up to the footballer, 39, for a selfie and also shared a sizzling snap in a sparkling green bikini which showed off her ample cleavage. Georgina rocked a white baseball cap from Red Sea Global and added a beaded necklace to her beach look. After topping up their tans, the couple headed on a grueling beach run by the shoreline, where they both showed off their incredibly toned figures. The Spanish bombshell showcased her toned legs and curves in a fuchsia bikini and rocked a gray cap, while Cristiano displayed his ripped abs. Georgina also posed for a jaw-dropping snap in the middle of Red Sea's crystalline waters, while also capturing Ronaldo as he posed with his open arms. The Mama Four shared another heart-melting picture where she cradled her daughter Eva Maria, 6. The couple share Eva Maria and his twin brother Matteo Ronaldo, who were welcomed via surrogate in 2017, Elena Martina, 5, and Bella, 1. The football legend is also father to Cristiano Ronaldo Jr., 13, but he never disclosed the identity of his firstborn mother. While discussing the privacy matter with Jonathan Ross, back in 2015, he said, Some points in life are private, and people have to respect the privacy. When Cristiano is going to grow up, I am always going to say the truth to him because he deserves it, because he is my son. Georgina made headlines in March when she paid tribute to her footballer boyfriend, as she walked in the Vatements, Women's Wear Fall slash Winter 2024 to 2025 show during Paris Fashion Week. The influencer wore a red dress which featured the number 7 on the front and the surname of her partner. Cristiano wore the number 7 shirt during his first stint at Manchester United and continued the tradition while at Real Madrid and Juventus. Georgina was also joined by the couple's children, who sat admiring watching the model strut her stuff on the catwalk. Cristiano Ronaldo's GF Georgina Rodriguez tries a hand at a sport other than soccer Georgina Rodriguez partner of Cristiano Ronaldo, may be known more as a model and an influencer. The Spanish lady has also shown interest in activities like entrepreneurship. Nevertheless, Georgina, unlike Cristiano Ronaldo, has not ventured into any sport. It looks like that has changed now. The elegant 30-year-old was recently seen playing a sport other than soccer. But what could have interested her more than her boyfriend's game? Although Ronaldo plays soccer, Padel has been captivating the minds of people, including Georgina. She was recently spotted playing the rising sport along with her pals recently. Showcasing her sporting skills Georgina with the caption, Naiwan Lady, which translates to neither one I gave him, expressing her excitement. This is not something new to Rodriguez. Earlier, 
Georgina was seen playing paddle and also posted her first paddle lesson on Instagram. Paddle is a racket sport that is making waves all around the world, especially in Spain and Argentina. With more than 25 million players in 110 countries, many soccer players including Cristiano Ronaldo, Luka Modric, and even Lionel Messi have expressed their interest in it. Meanwhile, Cristiano Ronaldo went a step further to one of his companies, is constructing Sada du Paddle, a complex in a 15,000-square-meter plot that will become the headquarters for the sport in Portugal. Apart from investing, the Portuguese soccer captain seems quite familiar with the sport. CR7 was seen playing paddle with a fan a few months ago in Singapore during a charity tour and impressed the people around. Looks like the interest also rubbed off on his companion, who seems to be working hard to learn the sport. Even last month, she added a story of her playing revealing that, it's been exhausting. Nevertheless, while Georgina tries her hand with paddle, Ronaldo will look to focus on soccer for the rest of the season. Cristiano Ronaldo back to lead Al Nasser after a vacation with Georgina, the partnership of Cristiano Ronaldo and Georgina Rodriguez is truly refreshing. The couple along with the children recently spent time away from work in Red Sea, but looks like the vacation is over for Cristiano. With two important trophies at stake, Ronaldo is back in work mode. With two consecutive hat-tricks against Altay and Abba, the Portuguese will look to give his best in the Saudi Super Cup semi-final against Al Hilal. Al Nasser also has the King's Cup up for grabs this season. With a disappointing end to the AFC Champions League and a difficult chase for the Saudi League title, Ronaldo and company will look to salvage two trophies. In the meantime, Georgina will try to master paddle. Go and complain now Marcelo makes huge revelation about crucial Cristiano Ronaldo goal actually being offside in Champions League quarterfinal. Real Madrid legend Marcelo has admitted that he assisted an offside Cristiano Ronaldo to score the winner for Real Madrid against Bayern Munich in 2017. Los Blancos won three successive Champions League titles between 2016 and 2018, becoming the first side in history to achieve this feat. Cristiano Ronaldo played a starring role for Real Madrid throughout their most successful era in the late 2010s, earning global acclaim as the best in the world. The forward enjoyed a great relationship on the pitch with his supporting cast, particularly left-back Marcelo. There were a number of controversial moments in the run-ins to each of their triumphs, but one comes to mind quite readily. Los Blancos won the first leg of their quarterfinal meeting against Bayern Munich 2 to 1 away from home, taking a huge advantage into the second leg. Bayern Munich led 2 to 1 after regulation time, forcing extra time at the Santiago Bernabeu, where the drama took place. In the match before the advent of the video assistant referee, Cristiano Ronaldo appeared to score an illegal goal, which was allowed to stand. Now of Fluminense, Marcelo has spoken about the goal, which he assisted, on the Pod Pa podcast back home in Brazil. The left-back admitted that the goal was scored from an offside position, but laughed it off. Real Madrid went to score once more through Marco Asensio, before the end of extra time to win the game by a 4-2 scoreline. They went on to win the title, which was the second of their three-peat of the competition. Cristiano Ronaldo introduced off the bench in narrow Al Nasser win, following back-to-back -back hat tricks for Al Nasser. Cristiano Ronaldo was rested by manager Luis Castro for his side's trip to Damak. The manager gave him only 24 minutes of action as the Knights of Naj won 1-0 on Friday, April 5. After scoring 13 times in two games, Al Nasser slowed down against Tamak, but had Amerik Laporte to thank, eventually. The Spaniard scored in the 91st minute to help his side claim all three points in the game. Cristiano Ronaldo's goals have been enough to keep Al Nasser alive in their bid to overtake Al Hilal in the standings. With 29 league goals to his name in just 25 appearances, 
the 39-year-old is primed for the golden boot. Al Nasser are 12 points behind Al Hilal in the Saudi Pro League standings and are set to finish second. They will face the leaders in the Saudi Super Cup semi-final though.